If you can't seem to lose that extra flab around your middle, listen up. There are five things you need to do to make sure that you melt that fat off of your midsection. Personal trainer and weight loss specialist Lisa Lynn is here, and she's going to melt it away for me. I I'm hoping you can get it done before the segment's over. Oh, you know, you we it? could go on for two days, as we were saying about this. But the fact is, you look as good as you do without a lot here because you this is your lifestyle. Well, it, it, you do have to make it a lifestyle. But there's even times of the year for everybody that it's just you're on a roller coaster, you know. So That's we can fly. Try to stick with these basic that's things. That's why. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. <laughs> and rule number one is we all no, know, and if we don't, here. we should know that weightlifting and cardio makes you burn fat the best. Mm -hmm. The fastest people lose far more weight. So if there's anything else you're doing in your fitness regime, you should really prioritize those two. Okay. And not tell them that's why you look this good because you're lifting that stuff. Yeah, you do. You have to do it. You and I'm not it. saying Pilates and yoga is bad. I'm saying they're the condiments, and you need the meat and vegetables. Chicken and vegetables on your plate, and, and the weights are them. You okay. need to lift them. Okay, terrific. Um, rule number two, let's go over the don'ts first. And I don't want to sound negative, but you really shouldn't be drinking juice if you're trying to burn. And a lot of people still are drinking juice, and they don't know. you got to eat the whole fruit. That instantly spikes your insulin, along with wine, little bottle. That's three servings in there. Yeah. So I have people say, I have a glass or two, but how big is your fishbowl? Yeah, right, right. The right. other thing is, sir, chow, anything that's coming in a can, including a protein shake, you're going to see the sugar levels go up, the carbs go up, and the quality goes way down. Don't mean to be nasty just to these folks right here. Go ahead. 35 grams of sugar. And this makes I me really sad. I try to see that in a week. Correct. That's a lot this of sugar. This makes me sad because people hear our segments and they go out and they think, I want to do that. It's, it is a great idea and it does work, but not that way. Right. The other thing you have to drink, though, is water mm -hmm. because if you get a little dehydrated and this time of year people tend into, your metabolism slips down 3%. And people like you and I, we can't go down 1%, right. you know, we get a shift. Now, since drinking protein shakes does work, you do want to find one that's low sugar, low carb, high protein. And as we were talking, this is a depressing time of year. It's just, you know, you're not as happy <laughs> as the stressful. summer. It's just stressful. stressful. It so is. mine has B vitamins in it, which I have to tell you, drinking this, I wish my guru 25 years ago gave me this. I would have saved so much bouncing on and off diet programs. Most of it was I needed bees to lift my mood. Yeah. No bees, no good mood. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> now, so all of these look like really great foods, but carbs, if you're trying to really burn fat from your waist, some people can have one serving, most cannot. And these are really great whole grain crackers, high-end store, expensive, no good. If you're going to eat them, you better monitor your serving, have a serving, and eat them before 3 p.m. Okay. That includes oatmeal, brown rice, bagels, or guess what? How about a banana? This is one I catch people doing a lot, and this one is two servings. You see the size of your thumb? Ugh. The thumb yeah. is a serving of a of a banana. Who eats that? Nobody. I eat that putting it in my shake. But if you're going to have some, know what a serving is. Break it in half because that little bit in this chemical equation matters. Yeah. And you say you've got to watch the fruit. Right. It has that natural sugar. And, and it does. But you've got to know, even though these are good for you, this may be a diet muffin. That's still 400 calories yeah. loaded with sugar, carbs, flour, yeast. We could go on for a day. Enter the high blood sugar and now we're fat storing, not yeah, only that, right, not, right, not right. burning. If you're going to grab a fruit, go for a whole apple. Make sure it fits in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. A serving of fruit is a half cup. So if you're eating, you know, I watched people this morning at the hotel doling these big bowls of fruit plate. Insulin levels yeah. rise. And finally, little tricks that work. One, caffeine, believe it or not. Now, I don't have a cup of coffee here. Drank it, needed it. If you don't drink coffee, there's a little bit of caffeine in this accelerator. Mm -hmm. Why? It boosts your metabolic fires, helps you burn fat. One of the oldest tricks in the book is aspirin mixed with a little caffeine and your fat burning. So you don't have to go to the supplement store. These are natural, and I don't like to take anything that's not going to boost my health, make it yes. better. Um, so, but this has a lot of benefits, not just for fat loss, but also for blood thinning. Be mm -hmm. careful. Don't just start popping aspirin, but right. you could use these little tricks along with cinnamon like we were talking about putting in the protein shake, because those little tricks help push your blood sugar down. Like there's other supplements that have chromium or fat burning agents, and if they're healthy for you, my philosophy is if you can't live on it, don't ever start taking it. Uh, right, 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 right. Cinnamon, that's the one I've decided I'm jumping on that bandwagon. Sprinkle it in everything. Yeah, what, why not, huh? And I'll Something be honest, like it's, it's really good. It smells good, so you can make your hot chocolate. I'll make that or vanilla steamer, sprinkle cinnamon on the top. Yep. Good for you and yummy. Absolutely, and it's great for the senses. Okay, Lisa Stain, because she's going to answer some questions in just a bit. It's lisalynnfitness.com. Be sure to check it out if you've got any questions. Please. I know she addresses them. She's going to address some of those in just a bit.